Well, hello there boys and girls, and welcome back to our channel with this brand new video. At some point in your life, you probably had this very unfortunate and disturbing situation where someone took a key to your car and destroyed the paint. We are going to save your nerves a little bit by showing you this video in which we will show you how to fill out the paint and make it look like new again. Of course, before we begin, we need to have certain items to start. For one, you need the original paint color of the car's paint. In this case, we're dealing with a pure black color, also known as piano black. This paint is acrylic based, which in return will speed up our working process. You will also require to have a quick hardener. For this purpose, you could also use a slow hardener, but with this one you will save some time as the process will go quicker. And one final thing you need for this process is a razor. So let's begin. First, we will clean off the scratch uh, using the water-based sandpaper of 1500. After this process, as usual, you will take the degreaser and a microfiber cloth and wipe the scratch thoroughly. This process enables the paint to grab on to the existing scratch and paint with ease. Do not forget to shake your paint thoroughly and as a container for your paint you can use a bottle cork. Of course pour in as much color as you need for this process. To finalize the process add some hardener to the paint, add a very small amount. Now this is an acrylic based paint, so it already has the shine in it. Mix the compound well and then let it sit for about 10 minutes before you start your process. So why do we use a razor? Well, there are few reasons. One of them is that it is a very thin piece of metal which you need and it's also very flexible so it is perfect for this use. To make the handling of the razor more convenient and safer, wrap one side of it with the protective tape. This might avoid a messy or potentially bloody situation, so make sure to do this step properly. Once you ensure that the blade is protected, what you get here is a very flexible and easy to use tool. So now, let's begin! Apply larger quantities of paint at the beginning of the scratch and then using your razor, slowly without any pressure, spread it along the line. Once you're done spreading the paint at the first segment and you see there's no more paint to spread, naturally you continue from the next point and all the way down the line. Make sure to let the paint dry thoroughly 
before going to the next process of removing the excess paint. So let's start with that and see what we get. To start this process, use the Fuber tool. Um, if this is unfamiliar to you, you can use a sheet metal file to cut a part of it and actually make this tool for yourself. So use this piece of metal to scrap away the excess paint. Make sure to use absolutely no pressure. Just push it along, up and down. And after we finish this process, we will use the water-based sandpaper to finish the job. Once you finish the process with the Fuber tool, what you get is this, as you see on the video, which looks pretty ugly. So now we have to have a 2500 water-based sandpaper put against a piece of wood that is not flexible, like this. So again, without applying any pressure at all, use this tool to straighten out the paint, wipe frequently to see what you are getting in the meantime. The next step is to take a 4000 sandpaper, put it on your machine and slowly take off the excess paint. This will of course make the process a lot easier, but it should be only done after the 1500 paper is used. So now, let's check out the result that we got under the neon light, at night as well, during the day. You can still notice the scratch that was there before, but very minimal and only from certain angles, as you can see right here under the neon lights. This is an excellent result when you take into account that the bodywork was not repainted in order to get rid of the scratch. When we come out to the daylight, there's almost no actual trace of the scratch visible on the car. This is a very important result here because most of the time you will be outside instead of under neon lights inspecting the car and there's almost no visible trace of it here. The only way you can actually locate the scratch is if you come in very closely and if you have prior knowledge of its position in the past. So boys and girls, I hope this video helps and remember, please like, share, subscribe if you haven't and hit the bell icon in order to get all future notifications and leave a comment. I'll gladly reply to you. Until next time, stay safe, take care and goodbye boys and girls.